everyone and welcome back to the channel and undertale i am cyan and uh yeah if you knew that already then welcome back if you didn't know my name then uh that's my name anyway we're back with another video uh sorry i haven't been able to I, I, I was planning on uploading a lot more, but in between just getting ready for the charity stream that's coming up on Saturday, as well as, you know, just working in general, I have a lot of stuff I need to work on, and also I need to rest. Uh, I, you know, I, ha I haven't been able to keep up with this as much as I wanted to, but we're back, we're doing more, um, and yeah. I hope you all enjoy. Uh, let's let's get into it. Oh shit, wait. Wrong keys. Almost forgot how to play this game. Sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. I don't know why I needed to save there. But yeah, we're in Snowden. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I'm going to buy. Slap him. I'm gonna get the manly bandana, a bicycle, and a cinnamon bun. Oh, no. Let's talk. Say hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door, my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Ugh. Yeah. You're telling me. <laughs> anyway, let's... let's go for now. box just in case I run into anything. Put that in there, put that in there. Put that in there, put that in there. I wanna put on the manly bandana. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh see? talk to some of the people here. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know. Welcome to Snowden- wait, Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is ADG. I'll leave for now. I'll feel free to come back anytime. to walk to the other side of, side of town. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't hear myself think. Hold on. So, yeah, the audio is fine and stuff. Um, <laughs> it was just too loud for me. Uh, don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Teehee. You're both bunnies. It's a 
a little strange. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. I think I can tell. Something interesting about that. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, too right? Oh, I can't read. Uh, I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yes. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Rubies. You better watch where you sit down here, kid. Because that big guy will jump onto your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> I love greater dog, a lesser dog. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and, and hot guys! <laughs> hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, and passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. The jukebox is broken. Mm. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local, local culture. But I definitely want to see some city, s city slickers slip onto their butts. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. You are a fish. So that makes sense. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Rogue said that there's, uh, said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Thank you, Bird. It's okay. I don't need water. Who, who needs water? Not me. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. No. Oh. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Let's play monsters and humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. Alright, never going in there, huh?
think I need... Sorry, I'm just thinking about secret stuff. I think I need Sans phone number for that, though. I forget. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Wait, is it? Library. <laughs> wait, li- wait, no, it's... Library. Library. Okay. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Yes. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these to exist. Monster history... oh wait, let, let's... Let's start from, from here. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Oh, that was you. Because they're made of magic, monsters monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end that chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. How was that a question? That's just. It was correct. Mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Yes. It's empty. Aw. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Oh. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna quickly save because I did buy items not too long ago. Let's go. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of other... Uh, 
I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Okay, let's check. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, yeah. <laughs> feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility, it reminds me of myself. You're meeting all of my standards. Let's date later after I can capture you. The pirates is thinking about what to wear for his date. What? So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I'm blue now. You're blue now! That's my attack! Yeah. You're blue now. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Papyrus dabbed some bone cologne behind his ear. Let's, I'm not thinking about that date thing. Tabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Ow. Pyrus stabs some Metaton brand fishy cream behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Metaton brand anime powder behind his ear. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Banjo Pilot. Papyrus had some Metaton brand cute juice behind his ear. I kind of. I love this battle. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettor. It's like one of those battles that you can't, like, forget. Mainly because the music rocks. Can't help but remember it. Papyrus dabs a Metaton brand attraction slime behind his ear. Undyne will be really proud of me.
smells like bones. Someone like you is really rare. Papyrus is preparing a book right now. And dating might be kind of hard. Papyrus elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Wise choice, Papyrus. <laughs> Yo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. A knight's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should he say? What a loser. <laughs> what a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then. I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie. We haven't even had our first date. I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. But I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the knight... Th that's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then 
Venus monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. I... can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Thank you, Papyrus. Let's go save and have that date. Oh. What is he doing over there? Someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He's all, he always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. <laughs> my brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains a... contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Meddling canine! Curses! Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! You touch the couch. It makes a jingling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. It's a saggy old couch. Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program at a time. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me take a sip of my tea. He kind of... <laughs> Reading out Papyrus's lines kind of just like destroy my voice. the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book uh, was another joke book. You look inside. <laughs> There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. What do you mean? That <laughs> Continue, that's the joke. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. I already did. Hey, Sans, open the door. The door is locked. Fuck you. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. That 
that's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yes. <laughs> it's your attacks. Hey, those are all of the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long hike. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just the dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> You're almost there. Just think a little harder. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another- wait, that next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside of my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. What about here? The internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. You're negative too? Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Uh, I don't know who that troll is. I'm sorry, Papyrus. So, um, if you- <laughs> What the fuck happened to my voice? <laughs> if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yes. <laughs> okay. Dating start! Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating time. <laughs> Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Crime. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yeah. Really? Well, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wearing clothing. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes under my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? 
No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. <laughs> Open it. Do you know what this is? Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflects it and scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ugh! for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be unable to match your passion for me. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your f cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. And it would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> and there he goes. Ring, ring. Wow, well, it only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my help. Well, do not fear. This is Papyrus's helpful helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room. Have you heard of something called a, a door? Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. <laughs> okay. Well, that was that, and my throat is thoroughly destroyed. <laughs> God, my throat. <laughs> Let's see.
I should, I should have done my lines before this. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here for now. Uh, yeah! Thank you all so much for watching. see more from me maybe subscribe it's free and if you want to see more of me outside of this channel uh then go into the description and check out my social links i have a twitter i have an instagram and i have a community discord uh i'm trying to revive it <laughs> uh anywho uh that should be all um and before i go be sure to check out my live stream tab because i'm charity live stream for St. Jude and we're hoping to raise $400 and when I say we I mean I'm going to be joined by some amazing people uh, and we're going to play games and we're going to talk and we're just going to have fun and stuff and try to make the world a brighter place anywho thank you all so much for watching I hope you all have a wonderful day, night or whatever it is where you are make sure to eat, make sure to sleep make sure to just take care of yourself and as always I'm right behind you. See you.